We're more than halfway through 2017 and it's been another incredible year in the world of murals, interventions and installations. In this episode, I take a look at some of the standout artists that are reinventing what it means to paint in the street. My name's Doug, this is Fifth Wall TV. You're a wizard, Harry. Is this shirt a bit much? Argentinian artist Francisco Bossoletti first came onto my radar when we met at this year's installment of the rapidly growing Crystal Ship Festival in Oostend, Belgium. His work is heavily laden with symbolism and explores themes such as financial and social injustice, the exploration of identity, and is executed with a really refined classical style. Here's the technical part. Whilst his latest work might look impressive at first glance, there's a lot more than meets the eye. To see the true beauty of the piece he's trying to create, you actually have to look at it through a photograph which has had a negative filter applied to it. By flipping all the colors upside down, and you see the true reflection of the piece he's trying to create. Damn, I actually look like a magician. I need a hat and doves. Everyone knows one of the best things about being a student was being able to pull off having a black light in your room. As a grown human being, there is no way you can justify having such a device, especially if you're using it to pick up girls. No matter how super sick it makes everything look. Filling in the void left by your black lightless existence is the latest mural by the Swiss artist Honor. The image of the shattered light bulb was painted using this special fluorescent paint. That means after dark, when you shine a black light on it, the whole wall turns into something that looks like it was a deep sea discovery from a David Attenborough documentary. There is talk of installing a permanent black light fixture. If that does happen, I promise you, this will be Montreal's number one makeout and smoke spot for young, horny, experimental teenagers. Moving on. London's INSA has long been pushing the parameters of the relationship between technology and art. By bringing still walls to life through his graffiti app, it completely revolutionised the ways and the possibilities that were made available for people painting. At Mural Festival this year, not only did he create this amazing evolutionary mural, he also teamed up with Station 16 Gallery to launch a print that would come to life right in front of your eyes when viewed through a phone. An augmented reality print on your wall. The game has changed. Nothing is as it seems anymore in the world of street art. As we become more desensitized to the presence of public art, it's artists like this that continue to break the mold and push the boundary of possibility that will keep the genre really genuinely interesting. I promise you, this is just the start of what's to come in the future. My name's Doug, this was Fifth Wall TV. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, subscribe to this channel, tell everybody about this video, tell everybody about this channel. If you haven't spoken to your mum in six months, call her right now, say mum, there's a really good street art video guy on the internet, you should watch it, send her the video. When she watches it, she'll be like, oh, man, that was good. Christmas time, what happens? Everyone's arguing about politics, arguing about Brexit, bang. Remember the video guy, mum? Remember the street art video? Suddenly everyone's forgotten about politics. You're just hugging, talking about street art. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>